What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to an update on Quant, um, mainly a price update, no big news around Quant, I, I believe at least. Um, the market has been relatively bearish, but we'll talk about uh, that in this, in, this, in this video. First of all, I hope you're all doing great. Um, and if you don't know me, welcome to this channel. Usually what I do in these videos is I, I, I cover a certain crypto, all right? I cover the news around it. I cover the news around the whole crypto market, if that affects that certain crypto. Um, and we talk about the price, obviously. So, um, obviously, Quant has been very, very bullish since the since the beginning of September. Fully deserved. It's a great project, and it's going to be a great project for for the upcoming years as well. I think, at least, and I think most of you agree with me. But that's um, it's a little bit a little bit of an echo chamber uh, in, in these videos, of course. But apart from that, we, we have been dropping. The entire crypto market has been pretty bearish, or at least most cryptos have been. Bitcoin and Ethereum have been just, just holding on, barely, but they have been, have been holding on. First, I quickly wanted to grab your attention from a new partner, Bing X. Bing X is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges out there. It's 100% legit, and you have a lot of cryptos to trade and buy. And apart from that, if you sign up right now through the link down in the description, you get a 10% off all transaction fees forever, and you can get up to a $125 bonus for free. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. Um, and Quant itself has been dropping quite severely after uh, touching this major resistance level at 220 and 210. Uh, first found some support at 194, after that dropped down to, to 170 and, uh, and, and we dropped down to 164, uh, which we did expect. I expected some more bullish momentum, I have to say, from, um, from 170. Uh, we, we just got a small touch, but that was probably already a, a, an indicator of that we were going to drop down even more. Um, so now the big question obviously is, is, is what's going to happen with Quant? What's going to happen in, in, terms of it, uh, in, in terms of price? Can we actually hold these levels or are we going to drop down a little bit more? Um, and to me, that really depends. That really depends on this level between 170 and 164, right? We, we, we dropped down below that, didn't take a break retest, which is bullish, then broke above that. But now the, the main challenge is and, and the main thing we have to do is to actually do take that break retest right now and stay above that. So to me, uh, that's going to be the test of today. We're going to drop down. We're probably going to drop down all the way to 164. If we can actually stay on top of 164 for the next 24 hours, I'd say, then I think we can actually stay on top of that and consolidate between 184 and 164 uh, until the market gets a little bit more bullish. Um, but I'm going to I'm, I'm going to have to be brutally honest here, and and obviously you're here also for 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 my price prediction and what I think is going to happen. Um, to me. I put a lot of weight weight on, on the fact that we already broke down below 164 uh, yesterday. And I actually thought 164 was quite a strong support level. In the end, it wasn't. Uh, or it was, but there was just a lot of bearish momentum. So I think it's more likely that even though we broke above 164 now, um, again today, uh, I think it's more likely that we'll drop down to 164. Maybe find support there for, for a little bit longer. Find some support there but then drop down below that and drop down towards this level right here at around 154 and ultimately 144. Um, and that's the level I do think is going to hold. A very strong support level. You also got the 200 EMA there. 150 is obviously a big, strong psychological support level. And um, uh, just, just to be honest with you, I also think that uh, I'm, I'm probably going to buy from 150 or at least a little bit higher. Um, and as I said, we could actually drop down all the way to 144, but um, I, I, don't, I don't think we'll drop down lower, unless this was really the end of the entire rally for Quant. Um, but I think even with more bearish momentum in the entire market, I think we can hold 144. In the end, Quant has a strong community, a lot of people with capital. So I think we can hold that, consolidate there, and then when the markets get, get a little bit more bullish, I don't know why my, my, why my mouse, is, mouse is tripping out like that. I'm being hacked. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. But uh, so yeah, I think we can hold that, and then when the market gets gets a little bit more stable, at least I think we can uh, again try to test those uh, 210 and 220 levels. But that's something for the long term, and I'll be back with more updates, 100%. So that's my take on quant for today. If you do have any questions about the analysis, let me know down in the comments. But for now, uh, the most important thing is I want to wish you all a great day. Take care and bye.